Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now going to answer a question from paper um, S1 paper, Statistics S1, from the um, June 2015 International A-Level at Excel. This question is question number three. It says a company employs 90 administrators. The length of time that they have been employed by the company and their gender are summarized in the table below. Okay, so this is the length of time employed in years. X is less than 4, X is between 4 and 10, and 10 is greater than or equal to X out there. This is the same as saying X is less than or equal to, X is greater than or equal to 10, more than 10 years, sorry. That's what it, that's the same thing. So it's a bit of a confusing way of writing that last part. That means X is greater than or equal to 10. I'll just write it that way to make it clearer. Okay, then it says one of the, one of the 90 administrators is selected at random. Find the probability that the administrator is female. So if we find the sum of the female administrators, which is going to be 9 plus uh, 7, which is 40, which is um, 16, plus 14, which is 30. There's 30 out of 90 altogether. So there's 30, okay, out of 90. So simple as that. The probability that the administrator is female is 30 divided by 90, which is one third. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Part B says, given that the administrator has been employed, by the company for less than four years find the probability that this administrator is male so here we have one of these conditional probab probabilities it says the probability that the employer administrator is male given that they the time that they've been, been employed for is less than four years that's what we have to do so given that means we restrict um the sample set to just these that's all we're looking at so our total now is 25. So it's going to be something out of 25 because these add up to 25. So you have something over 25. Well, how many of them are male out of these 25? 16 over 25. There's the answer to part B. Pretty simple question here. Okay, that's a nice easy way of doing it like this. Um, yeah, so basically uh, that's how you deal with this. I mean, if you, if you think about what we learned in probability, the probability that A given B is the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. And that's what we've just done. So we've got the intersection between these two, which is 16, male and less than uh, four years, uh, less than four years. That's this 16. That's the intersection over, uh, over the probability that have been there less than four years, which is 25. So 16 over 25. All right, then part C. It says, given that the administrator has been employed by the company for less than 10 years, okay, find the probability that this administrator is a male. Okay, so now, so we've got to find the probability that the administrator is male, given that they have been employed for less than 10 years. So basically, X is less than 10. All right, now X is less than 10 includes all of these. Okay, so we've got to include all of the ones that are less than 10 years. So it's all of this and this together. All of those are employed for less than 10 years. And out of the, those, the number that are male are basically these, these lot here. So that's 36 out of that total. So let's have a look what that total is. Well, that total is, um, that's 31, 90 minus 31, which is 59. So it's going to be 36 over 59. So there's the answer to part C. Okay, pretty simple question, actually. So one of the students asked me to answer this question, but it's so far so good. Now for part D, it says, state with a reason whether or not the event selecting a male is independent of the event selecting an administrator who has been employed by the company for less than four years. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the probability of selecting a male. That's just selecting a male in general from the whole lot. Well, the number of males was, I think this was 30, so this was 60. So the number of males is 60 over 90, which is two thirds. That's the probability of selecting a male from the whole set of people. And then it says, selecting an administrator who has been employed by the company for less than four years. Uh, okay, so, okay, so less than four years. Okay, um, altogether there's, 25, so the probability that X is less than 24. There's no given here. It's just selecting an administrator who has been employed by the company for less than four years. So less than four years.
is equal to these two are together, which is 25 out of 60, which simplifies to divide by 5, 5 over 12. Okay, 25 over, um, sorry, not 60, 90. What am I talking about? So the total is 90, not 60. Okay, so the prob selected administrators will be employed by the company for less than four years. Yeah, so there's going to be for less than four years, it's at 25 out of the total, which is 90. Okay, so that gives you divided by 5, that's 5 over divided by 5, that's 18. Okay, so now that's a probability that the person selected is male, that's a probability that the person selected has worked there for less than four years. Now, if, okay, A and B are independent, in general, independent, if two things, events are independent, if A and B are independent, let me write this a bit neater. One second. So, are independent. B, dependent. Then the probability of A times the probability of B is the probability of A intersection B. Okay? So, let's look at what the probability of M intersection X is less than 4 is equal to. Okay, so the the probability, the, the male and working less than 4 years, okay, male and working less than 4 years, okay, the intersection of those is going to be that 16. 16 out of 90. Okay, male and work less than 4 years. That's both. So that's 16 out of 90. So basically, if they are independent, let's see what happens. So the probability of male times the probability that they work for less than four years is equal to two thirds times five over 18. That gives you nine, which is five over 27. And the probability of M intersection X less than four is equal to 16 over 90, which if you simplify it, gives you eight over 45. Okay, and we can therefore say, as the probability of M times the probability of X is less than 4, is not equal to the probability of M intersection X is less than 4. Therefore, okay, you can say that these two events, okay, are independent. Uh, not independent, sorry. Okay, they are they are not independent. They're only independent. They're only independent if this, the product of these two is equal to that, that, that value. If the intersection of the two things is equal to the product of their probabilities, then those two events are independent. If not, they are not independent. So they are not independent. So there's the answer to question number three, part D. That concludes this question and um, you know, from this paper. Other questions you might want to watch from this paper will be in the playlist that should appear in this region here. Other questions from S1 probability can be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the description below the video to find other material that you might be interested in. See you soon.